welcome 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 back to my channel <laughs> it's me again <laughs> I know I'm laughing at it a lot. I know, I know. I have been gone for a really hot minute. It's a hot minute. Yes, it was a hot minute. I went away for all the hot months because your girl could not deal with it. Your girl could not deal with the hot months. So I decided, you know what? I'll come back and do my videos in the colder month. And as I said, I'll be posting stuff on my TikTok and my instagram i haven't been posting anything over here on my youtube but for the some the winter i'm saying summer the winter months i will be posting videos of my book hauls and what i'm reading and my readathon challenges that i'll be taking on during the winter months i'll be home i'll be cooler and I'll be able to get through the list of books that I want to talk about without streaming. Yeah, I did have an excellent summer reading, excellent summer reading. I did Black, uh, um, Black Halloween Noir. I read uh, quite a few books for in July for Black Halloween. In August, I did some arcs and I made headway on my Kindle, cha Kindle challenge which is run by Amazon and the Kindle. So I, I made some headway on that. And also, I did um, a couple of other reading challenges along the way with my book groups on um, Facebook. I am very active on my Facebook um, groups. So um, in another video, I'll put some of the names on here and you can come check us out if you are interested in interesting in joining a book group but for now let me tell you show tell you and show you some of the books I picked up during the summer months and I also won this lovely basket which I'm gonna open with you right now for the reading challenge at my local library I read quite a few books and wrote reviews for all of them yes I did that so Here's my basket and I'm going to open it because there's a couple books in here and, and I'll be doing another readathon in October, which is also Black Halloween, the Black Halloween readathon for with reading black books by black authors who write horror books. So that's what I'll be doing. For the month of October and there's a couple of black books in here that I think I want to put into it all right so first thing out of my gift ba basket is a lovely box bottle of Werther's original candies I love these these are so delicious a lovely pen Some socks. Ooh. Library. Love my library socks. These are so nice. They are going to come in very handy for the winter months coming up. I love it. A lovely gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. Ooh. Coffee looking really good. Coffee looking really good. A cute tote bag. Adventure begins at your library. Boy, my bag, this basket was so delicious. So good. Oh, wow, look at this. A little notepad, perfect for when I have my list to go to the library to pick up my, my, my books that I want to take out each time. I try and visit my library at least once a week. And these are, this is a lovely basket that I can keep my TBR stuck in. So yeah, everything will be used. And I got another pen also. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go into the books that I received from the publishers also, and I'm adding these as books that I got 
on my list too. This, these are um, books I want. Alrighty. Just Us by Claudia Rankin by the author of Citizen, an American Conversation. With just as Claudia Rankin offers further proof that she is one of our essential thinkers about race, difference, politics, and the United States of America. All right? That's just us. This is the kind of book you expect to get from the, your library to read, think about things that are occurring and going on. And this looks like a mystery. Stories in tribute to the authors who inspired Hitchcock's rare window. Wow, black is the night. It's an uh, it's an anthology. Huh? Neil Gaiman, Joe Lansdale, Kim Newman, Vasim Khan, James Salis, and M. W. w. Craven. They all have stories in this. Oh, there's more of them around the back, but those are the, those are the famous ones from this who have books in this. Alrighty? Those are the two books I won in my library giveaway, along with the other goodies that were in my basket. Thank you to my local library for that awesome gift. Okay, so um, I did walk past my little free library quite a few times. I picked this up. I don't think, think I put it in a, um, a book all before, but this is the third book in the the third book in the, the Gemma Doyle trilogy. I have the first book over there and, and, the, and the second one. So this is the third one. I finally found it in my little free library. So I am really, really happy to find that. It's um, The Sweet Far Thing by Libra Berry. And it's a chunker. So um, earlier on in the summer, uh, we had a surprise. I'm calling it a surprise. Um, Tom Topple. So, for that Tom Topple, you know, when you read big giant books, um, 500s and above. So, this one will work perfectly for if you want to surprise Tom Topple, hopefully before the year is out. So, I can put that in. Alrighty, I picked this one up in my Goodwill. Um, it's The Children of Dune. And if you have watched the, the, the two dune movies that are out you will know that these are the well the children of of okay i'm not giving away the movie the children if you have read the book this is the continuation of that series and it's by frank herbert all right this is also another big one which will work perfectly for tone topper whenever i see big books i always pick them up okay i found this one in my, my Dollar Tree. I love to walk in there and just pick up anything that strikes my fancy. And this one stri uh, struck my fancy. This is two people who were involved in a war. And in order to survive, they have to depend on each other. So I want to see how this plays out. And this is Silver Wings Iron Cross by Tom Young. All right. So it's not exactly. Oh, he just made it to 500. He just made it to 500. So it will work, I, you know, I keep saying tone topple. It will work perfectly for tone topple also. But if and when I feel like just picking it up and give, I'm giving it a read, I will do that too. Because I did not expect tone topple to drop in on a, on, a surprise, in, on a surprise in the summer. And I was very, very happy. I finished a couple books for tone topple. Look what I found. J.R. Ward, Lover, A Reason. It's uh, one of the Black Dagger Brotherhood, one of the novels of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is about a, um, a group of vampires who live in Caldwell, New York. And they, this, most of this is about, the, this is a romance slash vampire. Um, there's an enemy that they are fighting against and, and uh, all of that. Um, they're gonna be making this into a television series. It's not ready yet. They have cast some of the stars of the series, which is like the King and a couple of the other guys have been cast already. So we'll see how that turn out. But this is the Black Daggerwood series. This is a continuation. I have up to 
quite a few of the books. I, I had stopped collecting them for a while, so I'm very glad to finally start collecting again and add this one to my list. Alrighty, so those are the books that I picked up this time. And I got one book from the publisher. I already posted it on my TikTok, so if you have been over there, you will see it. This is Guide Me Home by Atikalak. And I'm going to be putting this into Black Halloween, which I'll be doing starting the 1st of October. I'll come back and show you the list of um, print books that I'll be doing for using for the prompts for Black Halloween. And a couple of the um, audiobooks, because I'll do a lot of other books during the month uh, for, for Black Halloween. All by black authors who write horror books. She has also included this year a romance category. So I might take a stab at doing a couple of romance books, but I'm not a really romance girly. But I'll do this one. This is a crime crime novel, and this is one of the prompts. This is work for one of the prompts. Alrighty. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Be well, be blessed, and I'll see you again.